A yachtly crew, get out of my dreams, get into my road show there with Philly Ocean and company, but that's not why you're here. That segment is over, and this one is here. The man of the hour, Chef Nick Raybar. From the Yachtleys to the Motleys, baby. That's it from Avenue N. Hey, buddy. What's happening? Not much. Great to see you. Today, he's going to be making grilled summer vegetable salad. Yes. It already smells. It looks great, buddy. Yes. Take us through the ingredients. Well, we, you know, summer vegetable salad is, you know, it's not, this is not the first time it's been done. Right. But what I like to do is, instead of just chopping the vegetables, I like to grill them. Okay. It adds an incredible amount of flavor but the key is to put a little marinade on the vegetables before you get going so I'm gonna start by putting some mustard and a little bit of so making my own like sort of house Italian sort of style dressing yeah. some garlic some fresh dill um, some white balsamic vinegar some olive oil pinch of salt and pepper I'm gonna chop the vegetables kind of coarse and then I'm gonna toss them in this marinade and we're gonna grill them right here in the grill pan for vegetables we're using summer squash zucchini, red pepper, asparagus, some fennel, cherry tomatoes, and of course a little bit of red onion as well. All of that gets marinated, grilled, redressed, and topped with a little feta. It's it, a vegetable amalgamation. It is. It's a, quite the amalgamation. And you know, everything is readily available. I just, you know, I love this time of year, especially yeah. in Rhode Island. I mean, we have great growing seasons, but we don't get to go year round. So now everything is popping. Right. So find some great local vegetables. Put them to good use. Aven That's and it's all happening at Avenue N, of course. Yes, of course. Rumford, Hope Street, soon to be opened. Yeah. Uh, Honeybird. Yes. You, 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 how do you, when do you sleep? Well, I, uh, Wednesday mornings usually. <laughs> That's why I was seven minutes late today. Uh, I think that Just don't hold it against me. That explains yeah. it all. This is the man, Nick Raybar. We're lucky to have him here every Wednesday. He's going to be cooking up a storm. You don't want to miss the grilled summer vegetable salad. Back to you. That's right, we are back in the Roadshow Kitchen with Chef Nick Raybar from Avenue N. We've got some grilled summer vegetable salad on the menu. And even uh, Ashley was just saying a little while ago, she said, I know it's vegetables. Yes. She says, but how does he make them, make it smell so good? It smells great. Well, thank you, Will. Yeah. And it was a busy one here yeah, this I know, morning. I heard. I was, I was very concerned there for a second because, you know, I came with everything uh, all whole. Right. And the marinade not made, nothing. So okay. basically what that means is you can do all of this in 30 minutes. Yep. And I know that I say that sometimes, but it's 100% factual. Yeah, you can do This it. was, while it was an active 30 minutes, it was still able to be done. Got it. So let's go through the steps. I made the marinade with garlic and herbs and white balsamic vinegar and a little bit of honey and okay. mustard. And I put all these vegetables in the marinade. All these vegetables were the whole ones you saw in the beginning of the show. Then I just grilled them on the grill pan. Got it. Which you can clearly do outdoors. Yep. Be careful not to let it jump through the right little through grates the, there. Right, yeah. And um, then I took some cold product as well. Because you, uh, you can grill the corn. Oh, but, yes. And you can grill the tomatoes. But what's going to happen with the tomatoes is they're going to turn very mushy. mushy. And so you don't want to do that. So you have a little bit of a fresh element in here where I simply have tomatoes, corn, and a little bit of fresh chopped parsley. Now, you take these off. And you don't want these to be mushy either. So you're looking for like a little bit of a like a lot of crunch, but like you know you definitely don't want mush. And if yeah. you look in the inside, it looks like it, you know, the steam is releasing. So it looks like it could be undercooked, but it's I not. I hate it when they're mushy. No, no, you can't have them mushy. And then the reason I had these pre-chopped was so that they were just cool, cool a off tiny a bit. bit, so they don't like turn everything too much. So now let's do this, Will. Let's go ahead and take all of these great vegetables. And let's transfer them right into this bowl here. And in the bowl, again, we have the corn and tomatoes. Now here we have peppers, red onion, a little bit of asparagus, some summer squash, and um, some zucchini. Yep. I saved the tiniest bit of the marinade, which I'm gonna use now to dress. Now, you don't need a lot because all those vegetables really absorbed a lot. And I mean, it was probably two, two and a half cups of marinade I have here, and I just went in with two that ounces. That was so good. So now let's give this a toss. And you can see all of those, see how it, like it has a little sheen right. to it? Because the vegetables themselves have a ton of that marinade on there. And Nick, did you grill the, uh, the? because I've been doing it because of you, and I'm not kidding. Yeah. Uh, I'm not kidding. <laughs> You're uh, too nice. No, I'm serious. Grilling, did you grill the corn first? I, no, I didn't this time, but I do grill corn all of the right. time. And do you leave yeah. the husks on when you, you do can, it? Yes, you can, yes. Yeah. Okay. And that steams it. Right. So if you want... Do it, you soak it first? Yes, you have to soak okay. it first. All right, yeah. got it. Okay. So when you grill with the husk on, I soak it first. Yep. And then that really steams it, but it also adds a little bit of that charcoal flavor to it. Yeah. Um, and then if you want to do it with without your you know what's going to happen is the outside is going to get like a little black and like some char on it right which for eye appeal and flavor can be great it really depends on the recipe and the style you want but let's take a peek at this here will and you tell me nick that looks beautiful yeah and it's and it's it really does smell great oh i put some fennel in there too will and the garlic you know the way the garlic uh you know grills up right and releases there 
And like, it's almost criminal what I'm going to do next because I, I almost don't want to, but I brought some... Uh, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to put a little... Well, <laughs> like, like, what, what is he going to do? What could he be up to now, ladies do and gentlemen? To, do we need to alert the cops? Well, is I, <laughs> I'm going to put a little... Like, I almost want to leave it because it's picture perfect. It is you know, picture it looks, perfect. But I brought a little bit of feta cheese. Oh, okay? no, I'm all... That's fine. All right, so we'll yeah, put no, a little no, no, feta okay. just for yeah. a little yes, bit no. of fresh yes. pop there and then a little bit of dill. So if you wanted vegan... If you wanted vegan, right. you don't need to put honey in it. You can put um, just a little bit of maple or you can put a little okay. bit of sugar because you want something in there to help caramelize the vegetables. Right. And then we'll put on just a tiny bit. Don't make me stop because Tracy always no, watches. No, see, I love said, dill. Yeah, she always says you add too much stuff. So like, <laughs> she's probably right. But like, so I'll stop. Oh, uh, that's that She's team in spirit. my head. She's in my head this morning. That's that team spirit. But now take a look at that. Is that not like the greatest it, yes, salad? Yes, it is the greatest. It's the greatest salad. And I we did it all start to finish right here. You will have leftovers. You see how much we had out of one zucchini, one summer right. squash, one pepper, now, one the, onion. The other thing too yes. is I know some people, um, they may not care for onions because I have people who live in my yes. household who are like, I don't want any onions. Yet. Yes. But if you put them on the grill, uh -huh. it makes them sweet. Yes. And it's, yes. Makes, it's the delicious. Absolutely. And if you look at these here, which have been sitting for a little bit, they're, they've turned like translucent yes. and soft. And it absolutely sweet. And it doesn't them have up. that onion taste to it. No, it's a it sweet doesn't. taste to it's it. It's a really phenomenal flavor. Yeah. If you just took a big, you know, Spanish onion, chopped it and threw it in there, yeah, it it's that. gonna dominate, right. it's gonna right. be pungent, it's right. gonna be a bit much. But once you put them in the marinade, see I uh, see and you season as you go, yeah. a little salt and pepper, and that marinade has again, it has a little bit of that honey right. in there and that mustard and the acidity and the olive oil, and it's just a fantastic little salad. Say it all the time. Yeah. That Nick Ray bar has done it that again. That Will Gilbert two. has done it again. He's, he's got two We've restaurants, done it again right uh, here three in the restaurants Roadshow. coming. We've got one in Rumford, <laughs> one in, uh, on Hope Street in Providence, another place coming over to to eat. Pizza. And I'm here Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning, every Wednesday, morning. Wednesday making something fun like Find this. Find this recipe at roadshow.com and cook along with us. Get go. I'd like to see a little more energy from Nick. You're watching The Roadshow. Stay with us. We'll be right back.